Aspartame has been one of the most popular artificial sweeteners for decades, but now some people are starting to say it's poisonous. Is that really true? I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener. It's 200 times as sweet as sugar, so we only need to use a tiny amount of it in foods. Even though it has calories like sugar, we need so little of it that it's considered zero calories. But all kinds of urban legends surround it. If you listen to them all, you'd think aspartame was the worst product ever. Let's take a look at some of these. It causes methanol toxicity. When you digest it, aspartame does release a bit of methanol, but so do a lot of foods, like fruit, for example. When you drink tomato juice, it releases four times as much methanol as does the aspartame from a diet soda. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It turns into formaldehyde in your body. This is true, since formaldehyde is one of the byproducts of digestion. This happens when you eat almost anything. Although the word formaldehyde sounds scary and shocking, it's a perfectly natural compound found in our bodies and has been for as long as people have been eating fruits and vegetables. It causes multiple sclerosis. Only according to anti-aspartame activists, this goes back to a 1995 anonymous hoax email that's been circulating ever since, which claimed the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation was suing the Food and Drug Administration. Finally, the foundation had to put a notice on their website debunking this. The MSF neither condemns nor endorses aspartame and has never filed suit against the FDA. Donald Rumsfeld was the CEO when it was approved. Therefore, it's poisonous. He was indeed the CEO of Searle, the company that invented it. But this is a giant non sequitur. To assess the safety of a product, we don't ask who was the CEO and who were his cronies. We ask what are the test results? So far, no tests have ever shown aspartame to be harmful. Except to one small group of people, those who have phenylketonuria. About 1 in 15,000 people have a rare genetic disorder and can't metabolize phenylalanine, an amino acid found in aspartame and a lot of other foods, including milk, so they have to avoid all of them. Of course, no product can be proven to be 100% safe, but decades of testing and retesting of aspartame have failed to produce any evidence of health risks from aspartame. So drink up. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.